MB Enclosures it has his own YouTube channel. And this guy is an animal when it comes to designing boxes. Unbelievable. I couldn't even believe that there was two eights in there. This guy right here is doing something special. Uh, I welcome y'all to MBE. What you about to see? Box building in a different league. In this SQL scene, believe that money ain't a thing when it comes to his kings. Now that's fact, not fiction. Call 404 694 48 to 18. Okay. Don't matter, you got 48 or 18 or anything between. He got what you need. This is my crew. This is my gang gang. These are my kings. What's up? What's up? Hey, so I released this video been showing y'all do this speaker right here, but from, I want y'all to know that from, for me on this channel, I don't just build boxes just pulling numbers out off the top of my head or crack my, <laughs> what I actually do is I have tools. You know, I have DATs when I'm dealing with drivers that are, uh, open source design or whatever, so I can actually know what the parameters do. And then I build boxes off my theory, and my theory of testing port area uh, is able me to get my box to play low, very, very low with a substantial amount of port area. And I'm able to quantify what I do, not because I feel that way, I actually have measurements. So I just want my subscribers to, you know, when they get a box me up, they're signing to get a box me, to understand, <laughs> my age, you gotta check your pressure all the time. Uh, to understand that I really serious about what I do. Not only do I use that's that's. Let me see if it, if it shows. Are you on? Yeah. So once I might pull the parameters for a given driver, and that has to be a new driver. Because once I know the driver, you know I can build. I don't have to pull it every single time. It's just gotta be something new. When they, these customers come out with new, when these uh, manufacturers come out with new eights, I pull the parameters. Sometimes I pull the parameters on subwoofers. They already have, they already have a list of parameters just to see what it could do. Uh, and this is what goes on behind the scene that y'all don't even know that I do because some of the stuff you wouldn't understand. But when I give you the stamp, hey man, this subwoofer would do, what if I've quantified what I'm doing inside my vehicle? I could produce that inside your vehicle using my idea, my my theorem of port area, and it has shown, and I have miserable results. I'm not, you know, like driving into a location because um, the rattles, that, that don't mean nothing because it's rattling. That means absolutely nothing. This is a quantification, but I use different, once I get the TS parameters, then boom, this quantifies if it's gonna work, and then I do stuff, oh, I can't let y'all see my number. All right, boom. I put the results, the information from here. This is the last step. I put the information from here when it's a new driver into base pro box six, model it out, and then I build a box and quantify it. And then I do it over and over again. Different box volumes for different applications, different box volumes for different subs. And I mean, in different box volumes for, for different subs. They don't all get the same box. People think that I have, I build one generic box. I don't build a generic box. But you and I have talked beforehand, and I told you what you had to do before you for the box to, to succeed. Now, sometimes, you know, manufacturers be off on their specs. A lot of times. Some companies are known for being off on their specs. It's scar, but I know. I pretty much know them now that they ain't came out with nothing new in a while uh, and forever. Uh, American Base, he, he he be off a lot. Uh, who else? Sound Cube at one time. Uh, who else might be off? And some of these new companies because they're not actually, or like NB, uh, not NB Courts, uh, Nemesis Audio. I had that 10 one day. They told me they had a, a seven and a half inch cutout. Don't do that. The Nimbus Auto NHT has got a standard size cutout. But then the Rockville Punisher, it, it tells you it's cut out eight inches and it's not. So it's different. You know, those things right there, you 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 realize then it's just somebody they just, you know, they, they, everything make base, okay? And they just sell it to you. But even so, still, once I get the parameter in the driver, I can pull the dats myself. 
play with it, Fred test it, put a dash again, put it in the box, put it in a dash again, see what it do, and then decide, ah, oh, nah, this ain't going to do it. After about that, let, when I get to this stage, when I'm actually building the box and metering, then I can tell you if it's going to, and sometimes y'all don't even see the score. Y'all ask, hey, maybe what happened with that? What happened with this? Why you didn't do that? It didn't make it. <laughs> it didn't qualify. Didn't say it ain't good. It just didn't meet my standards. So you know, so just keep talking about it because these people are also trying to feed their family. So the worst, the best thing I can do for them, even though I don't, might not like their product, is just don't talk about it. It's going to sell. It's going to sell as it's going to sell. Because I haven't, I'm not bashing it. I'm just not saying it's going to get that king title. But these are the steps that I go by with new drivers. Lastly is this. So that I know if anyone puts my my outside the terminal measurements inside the calculator and calculate the port area and the volume with what they measure, you're going to say, oh, yeah, we heat within specs. For sure. Every single time. Because I'm not just talking out the side of my neck. I got tools and instruments. Y'all be blessed. I'm gone.